Polar makes semiconductors chips, uh, both in automotive industry as well as white goods industries. Uh, we make sensors and power chips for our customers. So when we explored a project like Omron, we started mapping out how long our products were taking in the fab, how far they were traveling, upwards of 40 miles throughout the life cycle of the product. We needed some solution that was flexible because we knew we were going to be changing. Our capacity is our limit and staffing is of a concern. So now with the CHIPS Act and other expansion opportunities, um, we're looking at other ways to grow our workforce. It's a definitely an industry problem finding skilled workforces right now. We're not replacing people, we're just making their jobs easier. They can keep the, their skills and keep the tools running at a high utilization level that we require here at Polar uh, and not worry about the transport of the product. We landed on Omron as a solution because of maybe two main factors. It was flexible and it was cost effective. So we were also moving material and machines to different points in the facility trying to make it more efficient. And we weren't ready to sign off on a fixed solution. So Omron has come in and provided much more cost effective solution than we could have with anything else in the moment. We brought in simulation. They mapped out the whole facility and determined how fast we could deliver product throughout our whole facility. And so running with that information easily justified our, our solution. Uh, another roadblock we thought we might have is the operator acceptance. I think they quickly realized the benefits of the robot in that it saved them their efforts and they could focus on what was more important, which was running our equipment. Tooling's very expensive and keeping them running is really what we should be focused on. Material is always flowing, so as long as the robots are running, which they do 99.99% of the time, the material is always flowing. There's no delay getting material. So we have seven robot solution driving material from the main WIP storage area. From the delivery room, our product goes to all points of the fab. Uh, we deliver the furthest distance material with the robots. I was part of uh, the group that was originally tasked with getting them in-house and help getting them set up. My involvement has been making it quicker and easier for the robots to maneuver within the fab. Setting up paths, setting up goals, setting up weight areas, different things in, in that process. I, I've seen how they have helped Polar to streamline certain things. So having these robots available to move whip quicker, easier, without uh, relying on operators to, you know, t move from the equipment they're working on. The biggest that I, uh, advantage I've seen that we've been able to come up with is to have the robots maneuver more like a person does. I think one of the key essential portions of the success here at Polar was Omron's availability. There's several times that we ran into problems that we couldn't solve on our own. And so we were able to reach out to Omron and Omron quickly connected us with engineers that could help us, you know, through these uh, problems or these issues. And that partnership is integral in the success of this uh, project and then the different phases of this project. At first it was a very disconnected system. Um, it is now an integral part of our fab. Um, I'd say when we first started out, there was a little reluctance of our operators and engineers and, and personnel to use the robots. And now they're an essential member of the polar uh, manufacturing environment. We've had um, great success with uh, acceptance. Operators really um, love interacting with the robots. It's just, a, it's been a seamless integration and everyone is thrilled that their lots arrive at their tools in a timely manner. Um, and it saves uh, thousands of miles each year in walking. If it needs to be relocalized, you can do it remotely. I can be at my desk and I can um, localize the robot in the fab. Um, so it's very user friendly. My biggest satisfaction comes from knowing that the operators um, enjoy the, using the robots. They're very appreciative and um, the fact that their lots are being delivered via robot instead of walking and, and it saves a lot of time and um, just hearing the thank yous in the fab is reward enough.